Hello my friends, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, August 30th, 2022. This is Jennifer. I have a couple things to share on the wall. This is a finished quilt top. This one is still in rows, haven't even pressed it. Definitely not the final order. Um, but I did want to have a little bit of something in the background. This is the top that I finished when I sewed with Domine. These were blocks that were already cut. Two or three of them were made. I literally just made the rest of them. So this was a set of blocks. It's more of a UFO than orphan blocks. And these were some tumblers that I had cut out of fabric. I think that Janice gave me, maybe in 2020. Janice, if you recognize anything, let me know. There are definitely some paw prints up in there and a lot of burnt orange, so maybe. But anyway, this needs to be totally rearranged and I have a couple more rows. But that's not happening today. I also finished uh, Domine's t-shirt, her Talk To Me Tuesday t-shirt, because she will be joining us for the Talk To Me Tuesday family reunion event, get together, whatever you want to call it. And um, so I've got that done. Haven't made my shirt yet because I just have not. So today is Tuesday. A week ago Saturday, Jules went back to, back to Albuquerque. On Wednesday, uh, Wednesday evening, my husband and son came home from their trip abroad. They went to UK, they spent a couple days in London, they spent most of their time in Scotland. Um, this was my husband's gift to our son for graduation. He's going to be taking our daughter on another trip next year. I should say a different trip next year. Um, because her work schedule is kind of packed, so they're going to schedule that later. They did great. They had a wonderful time. They did all kinds of stuff, saw lots of castles, went to lots of events. Had just fantastic time. Um, they said they were two of the only people they saw anywhere uh, that were socially distancing or wearing masks or whatever. And um, they were not sick the whole trip, but within three days of getting home, they both tested positive for COVID. And two days after that, I tested positive. We actually wore masks from the moment I picked them up at the airport just to be safe because, you know, international travel and being on a plane and they were on trains and taxis and everything else planes, trains, and automobiles. We did everything we could. We were socially distancing inside of our house, wearing masks inside of our house. My house has never been so disinfected. I still got sick. So Sunday was awful. I didn't test positive on Sunday. I tested positive on Monday, but Sunday was awful. I felt like I got hit by a train. Um, the best way I have come up with to describe it was I felt like I had a migraine over my entire body. I woke up yesterday, feel much better. Definitely sore throat, definitely very stuffy tired but okay other than that so thank goodness for vaccines and boosters because I can't imagine feeling the way I did the first day for like weeks so anyway now that I have addressed that little elephant in the room I want to share my intentional souvenirs with you guys by the way my boys both feel really bad that I got sick because you know I didn't get to go to Scotland but I got to spend a week with my best girlfriend in the world so it's fine I'm just glad that we got to do that first they got to do that first and now now we're sick, so it's okay, it's all right. All the good things have already happened so we can handle this. My husband's already almost completely better. My son's on the mend, so like, we're getting there. So the first thing I wanna share with you guys is something my husband hunted for me. Um, I love tiny irons. I have several tiny ceramic ones and I have um, a couple of tiny toy ones that I got on different trips we've gone on. I don't tend to buy them for no reason. I don't, and this is not a solicitation. I don't need you guys to send me tiny irons. But I do love to find them in places and then it's a really nice souvenir. So he searched everywhere for me and he found this tiny silver coal iron. And so if this was the full size thing, you would open that and you would put coal inside. Can you imagine putting coal inside and then ironing with coal? Oh my gosh. Anyway, it's beautiful. I love it. And this will go into my little collection of tiny irons. Let me show you guys the front the top. It's got beautiful detail. He bought this in the Portobello Market, which is somewhere he and I went together in 2016. So I was really glad that he and our son got to do that. Part of the reason for the trip was they wanted to see the, um, the Royal Edinburgh tattoo. I probably said that wrong. Anyway, it's, it's this huge international concert that's right in front of Edinburgh Castle. And they had a wonderful time. They loved it. And my son, who loves music, loves music and is a musician. So it was one of the best performances, live performances he's ever seen. My husband agrees. They had a great time. And my husband brought me Tattoo Ted from the Royal Tattoo. So that's pretty awesome. He's really cute. Um, when we travel, one of the things that I will occasionally do is I will get a thing 
a little stuffed animal from wherever it is we went. When we went to Maine, I got a little stuffed lobster. When we went to Carlsbad Caverns, I got a little stuffed bat. So I have a tattoo Ted. But also, and definitely more importantly, when we went to Edinburgh together, my husband and I, in 2018, we went to Edinburgh Castle and I did not buy a Robert the Bruce Bear. And it has bothered me since 2018. So he brought me a Robert the Bruce Bear. I just, he, is he not the cutest little thing? He's got his little Scottish flag. He's got his little crown. I love him so much, guys. I have probably six or eight uh, little plushies from different locations that we visited. And on the side of my room is my sewing wall. I want to put a little shelf up so that I can put all of my little souvenir plushies over there. My son, who tried above and beyond to find me the most ridiculous souvenir he could find, bought me a wooden spoon, <laughs> but it is a Queen's Jubilee wooden spoon, which I thought was pretty awesome. So it is a little silly, yes, but also pretty cool. So um, I kind of forgot it was Jubilee year when they were going over there. So they said there was a lot of cool stuff everywhere and platinum Jubilee spoon. So that was pretty cool. Finally, these were not souvenirs for me. These are something my husband and I collect when we travel. We love to get Christmas ornaments. We also get magnets for our fridge, but I've already put those on the fridge. But we love to get Christmas ornaments and you cannot beat the UK for souvenir Christmas ornaments. So the first one they got was this one, which is from the Tower of London. So you got the famous Tower Ravens and the Queen's Keys. So that one's pretty fantastic. Um, this one, I don't remember where all these came from, but this is unicorn which I think is the national animal of Scotland. Please correct me if I'm wrong but I think that's correct. This one comes from, this is a thistle, comes from the palace of Holyrood. So Holyrood house. So that one actually says where it's from on the back. The others do not. We have a Highland Coo. So one of the famous Highland cows but it's a Highland Coo and he's got a little tartan on the back. So those will go with our Christmas stuff and it's always wonderful when we're decorating our Christmas tree to pull out old Christmas ornaments, be like, oh, I forgot this one, I forgot that one. Very excited to be able to have those added to our collection. Aside from the unexpected and unwanted souvenir, uh, they had a really wonderful trip and I was very happy that they got to do this together because, you know, our kids are grown and there's not going to be much more window for them to want to travel with their parents. It's not something we were able to do when they were younger because we flat out couldn't afford it. And uh, we've had a, a vacation savings for a long time now and have not really gotten to use it for quite a few years. So I'm really pleased that they got to do this and they had, sounds like they had some really good experiences and they have some great stories together now that are just father and son, which I think is pretty, pretty awesome. So, um, I am going to do the minimal I have to do today. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to write the friends post for tomorrow on Phantom and Stitches. I haven't mentioned this at all, but it has been in the end screen of my video, which is we have a friends quilt along going on right now that was, uh, entirely designed by Laura Schaffstall and she had some really awesome uh, pattern testers, including our own playful piecing, Jennifer Rolls, and you guys should check it out. Every pattern is fantastic. The final quilts are fantastic. <laughs> she does beautiful work. She also did the um, the office quilt along that we just finished, and that one was that one was great as well. I love that we can still facilitate all of these awesome quilt alongs. So that is it for me. I've got to let Iliad in. He's very unhappy. And you guys have a wonderful week. Have a crafty week. Don't worry about me. I'm feeling okay. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.